Hi friends, if you're looking for a few ideas on ways to make your own decoupage paper or would like some free digital downloads to be able to print your own, stick around. And if you'd like to take a screenshot, here's some of the tools and materials that I use for this week's projects. And project number one, we're gonna be using some vintage gift wrap paper to transform this thrifted piece. I applied two coats of the Rust-Oleum spray paint in a flat finish. And I did prep this piece with some fine grit sandpaper first. So this vintage gift wrap paper is about the same weight as rice paper. So you can layer it very easily. However, for this project, I'm just going to use a single piece and adhere it on to the front of these drawers. In a previous video, I did use some vintage gift wrap paper to transform two wooden rolling pins. So down in the description, I will link both those videos for you. You can tear along the edges to give it a little bit more of a vintage feel. I tore the center of the paper to be able to slide it up over the wooden knob. I did try to take the wooden knobs off, but they're, they're really glued on there very well. I'm applying a thin layer of Mod Podge to the entire front of the drawer. And then sliding the gift wrap paper up over the top and using a plastic bag you could also use saran wrap and i try to start from the center and push outward to get rid of any air bubbles or unwanted wrinkles and now for the second drawer i just glue one side on first and then go over and do the other side real easy because it was a nice flat surface they both came out the same and once the drawer fronts have a chance to dry i'll finish with the krylon triple spray sealer it needed something else for the top so i'm going to make an easy scrap bow and taking a few pieces of ribbon and lace tying them together in the middle adding a piece of string so that way i can tie it around the top of the drawers i originally caught that advertisement and i was going to adhere it to the top of the piece but it just made it look too busy so i'm using some glue i cut out a smaller piece of advertisement and I'm backing it with a piece of cardstock. I'm just gonna make a little tag to put up at the top of the scrap bow. If you like the idea of the vintage style gift wrap but don't have any, you can print out your own. I recommend using rice paper, which the one I use is linked below in the description. And be sure to head over to thegraphicsfairy.com. She has many vintage advertisements and, and use canva.com, which is also linked below and print out your own paper. After you've picked and prepped your surface and it's time for you to print your own decoupage paper and I have some free printable pages for you that I've linked on the end of this video. One type of paper that you might have on hand to decoupage with are book pages and today we're going to give this little bird a makeover. I applied two coats of the chiffon cream chalk paint by Rust-Oleum and I used a little chip brush to make sure that he had lots of texture. Then I applied some of the watered down antiquing wax from Waverly onto the book pages. I applied the mixture using a spray bottle, but you could also use a paintbrush or just soak them in a dish. When I'm working on a curved surface, I find it much easier to use very small pieces. These book pages are very thin, so I only used a light amount of Mod Podge. I decided just to do the front of him with the book pages and I'm going to use the antiquing wax to bring out some of the texture I created by applying the chalk paint with a chip brush. I'm applying it in small sections and then wiping some of it back and I do that a couple times throughout the whole piece. I decided to add some fabric ribbon so I cut off a piece and added some of the antiquing wax in a dish and then I'll pull it out and while that's drying we're going to spray some of the antiquing wax onto the bird to create just a little bit more texture. And I did the same technique, sprayed it on and then wiped it back with a cloth on any of the areas that I felt were a little too dark. And once that had a chance to dry, then it was time to glue on the ribbon onto the bird and it looks like he's wearing a little scarf now. 
So I felt that he needed something else right up at the top of his scarf. So I pulled out my box of vintage buttons, glued two of them together, and then glued that right on to the ribbon. I have three more of these little glass birds left. So if you have any ideas on ways that we can decorate them, be sure to let me know in the comments. Then I made him a little nest with a vintage doily, some faux greenery, some birch bark, some shredded book pages, and a strand of pearls. So this next project, we're going to use regular printer paper. And if you're printing it out on an inkjet printer, I always recommend applying a spray sealer so that way your ink will not run. You'll notice that I printed out two sheets. This one that I applied some of the antiquing wax spray to, I am going to tear around the edges and that's going to be the piece that we're going to adhere right onto this block of wood. I'm applying the Mod Podge on in small sections so that way I can avoid wrinkles since this is a larger piece. Once a piece had a chance to dry, I decided to tear along the edges of the page that I did not apply the antiquing wax to because I wanted it to look layered and just give the piece a little bit more interest. I apply Mod Podge to the back of each and work carefully so that I have them lined up exactly with the one on the bottom. So once that step was completed, it, I really felt that it needed something more. So with a very light brush with the watered down antiquing wax, I'm going along and just trying to add some definition. So if you want to try a project like this, I would recommend applying the antiquing wax prior to gluing on your graphics. This is an easy way to transform a piece of scrap wood that you might have. Let me know what you guys think of this project and if you would like me to add this as a free printable over on my blog. Project number four, we're going to repurpose this broken lamp. And the first thing I'm going to do is get out all the wires and the metal pieces. And then I'm going to use some air dry clay to, to fill in the hole where the plug was. And I'll allow that to dry. Use some fine grit sandpaper to smooth out any of the rough areas. So I took this thrifted wooden bowl and I sanded the bottom of it to try to get a flat surface and then marked the middle and used a drill to make a hole. I applied both wood glue and E6000 to a long screw that, fit, that went right down inside of the lamp. Next, I took the paper napkins, applied some antiquing wax, let that dry, and then used the IOD rose twall stamp to make my own prints. If you like the look of the ink stamps but don't have any or don't have the ones that you're looking for, you can design the prints right on Canva, print them out in black on any type of paper, and then apply your antiquing wax to the paper. And then you're ready for this next step. Because this is a little bit thinner paper, I went very light with the Mod Podge applying the Mod Podge directly to the paper and then onto the bowl. And I don't think I had very many wrinkles at all. I did use a lot of patience and take my time, but I made a big mistake right there. And I left it in to show you guys. Um, the bowl is upside down. And I put the words, what I thought was right side up, but when you turn the pedestal right side up, that would make the words upside down. And I don't even realize it as I'm holding it like this. My sweet friend Jane over at the Secondhand Gem, she had a little mishap similar to this um, in her last video. And she left it in there to, to let our viewers know that even on YouTube, us crafters make the same mistakes, maybe sometimes even more than you guys, because as we're crafting and filming, we're talking with our kids, we're, we've got dinner in on the stove. Thankfully, for most mistakes, there's usually a fix, and this one was easy. I was applying the paper in layers anyway, so once I realized what I did, I went back up over it with prints going the right way. So I just want you guys to be encouraged and press through the mistakes because sometimes that's just a part of the creative process. After the paper had a chance to dry, I took some fine grit sandpaper and went right along the edge. And then I also took the piece outside. 
I used some spray paint inside of the bowl. And to seal the entire piece, I used some of the triple Krylon spray sealer. I'm excited to share something new with you guys. I created a post over on my blog that has free printables pages that can be used to create your own DIY transfers, including decoupage paper like we use today. If you'd like to see more projects where I use the antiquing wax on the paper, be sure to click on the video on the left. And you can click on the one on the right to find out how I print it out on book pages and for other fall DIYs. Friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you this Wednesday for a bonus video. Have a super blessed day. God bless.